Hello guys and welcome back to a new video of Architects 3DP. I'm finally back and I'm gonna start with the new schedule, bringing a new video every single week on Fridays around 8 Europe time. In this video, I'm going to show you a cool project to build your custom 3D printing farm shelving for very cheap. But before starting, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel clicking here in this little icon. If you do it, you will help me creating new content and growing the channel to reach more special viewers like you. Having a 3D printer is very cool, and even if you are a bit messy, you can put it in the floor, or in your desk, or anywhere else. It will take almost no space and it will be okay, but when you have for example two, or even three, it will turn your workshop into an absolute mess if you don't have a good shelving solution. Now I'm gonna explain you the solution I've built myself to keep my 3D printing farm nice and organized. And to build this shelving, I've used a bunch of IKEA lag tables. This little piece of furniture is very very cheap and it's available in different colors such as yellow, white, black, clear wood and dark wood. That is the option that we will go with. You can buy it for only 10 bucks each from IKEA. There are a lot of designs and thinkers to build the IKEA lag shelving solution and I first went with the solution created by Joseph Prusa and published in the Prusa 3D blog. It includes a solution to build your enclosure looking great apparently. Then I printed all the necessary pieces in PLA, three times by the way, and when I assembled the first pair of tables, it resulted a very weak and unstable solution. The joints were also very big and I was not going to build an enclosure, so I decided to design my own ones. As you can see in comparison, these ones are very stiff and robust while being very small and great looking. I think the parts designed by Prusa were not optimal, because they only used a single screw to hold it with the top of the table and two screws to attach the leg of the table, as you can see here. In the Architect's 3DP design, it will use four screws to attach it to the top of the table and three to attach the legs to the printed part. By the way, since I don't need to make an enclosure, in my design there is only needed to print four corners to attach two tables with each other, instead of the six pieces needed for Prusa's design. So I printed the pieces using this amazing Sunlu orange PETG filament that I bought from Amazon and you can buy from the affiliate links down in the description of the video. I sliced them in Cura with a 0.2mm layer height, two walls alternating a third wall every two layers, three bottom layers, four top layers and 20% cubic infill. If you want to learn more about the Cura custom settings, you should definitely watch our Cura custom settings series that you will find linked down in the description. I printed them using my custom Prusa i3 MK2S that soon I'm gonna start a new series with a step-by-step -step guide to build it for very cheap. And finally, you will only have to print the filament channel using the same settings I explained before. As always, you can download the files generated in the video from our files repository at architects3dp.com slash files or clicking in the link in the description. Once we have all five pieces printed, we are going to start the assembly and we are going to start taking one of the printed pieces for the corners and our drilling machine. Now I will take a small drill bit such as the 2.5mm one and I'm gonna drill the holes to drive the screws in place keeping it perfectly aligned. But before drilling the holes there are two things that we have to take into account. First make sure that the legs of the table are stiff enough in the union with the tabletop. And second make sure you place the 3D printed piece with the clean corner facing to the outside and the part with the holes for the legs to the inside. Once clear, I'm gonna drill the four holes for each of the unions on top of the bottom table and the three holes in the bottom of each of the legs of the top table. Alright, so here we have it! Once done, we only have to go for the final part of the build, that is the assembly. To hold everything in place, I'm gonna use wood screws. And for each of the corners, I'm going to need 4 by 40 mm for the tabletop, 2 by 20 mm for the leg faces, and a 30 mm one for the leg edge, making the total that you can watch on screen. Okay, so after this screw thing explanation, I'm gonna start with the assembly. First, I'm gonna attach the 3D printed pieces to the tabletop. Once 
Once done, I'm gonna put the new table on top of each other, remember to check that the legs are strong enough, and check out this perfect fit. Now we will insert the screws for the legs, pressing it down while inserting the screw. Remember the two 20mm screws in the faces of the leg, and the 30mm one in the edge. We'll repeat the process with the other three legs. And finally, here we have our two tables assembled. The last touch will be to calculate the center of the table on top and drill a vertical hole with a 10mm drill bit. And once done, we just have to insert in place the filament tunnel we printed before. You can glue it to the table surface, but anyways, gravity won't let it move, so we're going to just insert it like that. And last but not least, we just have to put our 3D printer in place. We'll connect it to the power socket and preheat the nozzle to 200 degrees. Once heated, we'll place our filament spool with the spool holder on top of the table. Insert the filament through the hole and load the filament into the extruder. Now the setup is ready to start printing great stuff. You can go for this configuration with two IKEA LAC tables or you can do as I did and install a third one on the very bottom which will provide you some storage space for your filament spools or tools and will also raise your 3D printer up to a very comfy 92 cm in height or you can even do like me and add a second tower for your second 3D printer or also even a third tower for the last one doesn't it look amazing? alright guys so that has been everything for this video we will add more cool features to our 3D printer farm shelves in the next episode. Remember that you will find the Amazon affiliate links to buy the PETG filament that I used in the video and more down in the description. And now stay tuned for the new content coming in the upcoming weeks. Hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel clicking here in this little icon. You can also follow us on social networks at architects3dp and please consider supporting my work on Patreon to keep making this channel possible. Besides helping me and making me super happy, you will also get nice rewards that you can check in our Patreon page navigating to patreon.com slash architects3dp or clicking in the links in the description. Okay, so as always, see you guys in the next video.